Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As we'll see there, the US 30 has failed to break through potential resistance at 16,600 and has paused for breath just as uh, non-farm payrolls is incoming later on this afternoon. So this will be the strategic level that many traders will be looking at. And bearing in mind that uh, for many regions across the world, it's holidays today and you might also have Monday off and obviously the Ukraine crisis continues to escalate. It'll be interesting to see how the global markets finish the day today. Looking at the UK 100, uh, we've actually had an incredible three, four sessions right there, advancing, smashing through potential resistance at 6774. Next potential resistance at 6874. We're slap bang on the middle of the range, um, but we've had some good results from RBS. They're up 11% this morning. Um, they smashed their expectations right there. So there is a little bit of a buoyant earnings mood, but I think the uh, the miners have failed to break up higher as some commodity prices have come down, uh, and that's adding pressure to the UK 100, which is very miner centric. Looking at Japan, two to five, it's not really doing too much today. As ever, that level of 14,219 uh, remains strategic. We are bouncing in the middle of two moving averages, 21 period and 55 period SMA. And dollar yen is advancing nicely uh, this morning, and we'll come to that right now. Uh, as you'll be able to see there, it doesn't look so great on the candlestick, but on the interday charts, it's certainly looking a bit more bullish. This is a decent candle breaking above the moving averages. Next potential resistance is at 102 spot 87. So that's looking a little bit more signs of life right there. So crude oil West Texas bounced back this morning after hitting a low yesterday below $99 uh, but we're coming up close to potential resistance at 100 spot 61 uh, supply glut is adding a lot of pressure on there Ukraine not really giving that much support uh, which is kind of interesting I thought they would have a little bit more of an impact but um, certainly crude oil inventories reached a record level on Wednesday over, over in the US and there has been uh, some interesting moves in dollar as well but nevertheless 100 spot 61 is the potential resistance on West Texas crude Looking at gold, which you can seem to catch a lucky break, we've had the sell-off, upswing, sell-off, upswing, sell-off, slap bang in the little two ranges as ever. 1267 remains to be the potential support. This is the level that I think many traders will be talking about over the next couple of um, next couple of sessions. We're not any for any of that today, but with non-farm payrolls due out. Uh, anything's possible. Um, if we have a look at Euro dollar, now Euro dollar has slumped slightly in the last couple of sessions after looking so strong as ever that one spot 3863 level still remains a major obstacle. We've not had a, a, a comp, um, kind of quite a confident close above there. We keep bouncing around this level and we've been doing it for for about two months now and we're actually slightly on the downside this morning on the bit of the back foot so the private payrolls came in better than expected on Wednesday never usually a good indicator of what comes out for non-farm payroll today mind you um, but euro dollar could be interesting because we are on the cusp of that potential resistance right there if we have a look at GBP USD it's been going great guns the last couple of sessions the long legs of these candles are indicative of selling pressure as it's moving higher I say it's grinding higher but we've paused for breath there again uh, you know, the markets I can imagine are going to continue to float around these levels until we get non-farm payrolls at 1.30 UK time. Now, the estimate by Dow Jones is coming in at 215,000 jobs and that's due uh, at 1.30 UK time. And um, obviously you've got average earnings, unemployment data as well. And that's pretty much it for today, but that's a big one. CMC Marcus does offer a live webinar today. Go to support live trader events and sign up from there and join our market analyst, our chief market analyst, Michael Houston, live as he discusses the result as it comes out and its impact on the markets. So make sure you don't miss out on that. Keep your eye on the chart forum for more updates from our global analyst team and make sure you make insights part of your layout going forward. This is their inside track as to what's moving in the markets today. And join me again on Tuesday after the long weekend to find out what happened next.